In the previous video we learned about how to create a single product page. When we click on a single product then we would have the single product page that would open up and in this video we're going to learn about creating cart for your WooCommerce site. Okay so what we're going to achieve is when the user clicks on this add to cart button then you can see that the product has been added to the cart and you can see there's one product and then the cost for the product. If he clicks on add to cart again you can see one more product is added and the amount is total of 11.05 multiplied by 2. Similarly you can add any products like this and, you, and there are three products into the cart. Okay, So basically what we want to create is this button uh, add to cart and then uh, view cart as well. To achieve this we need some kind of store where we can store the store data uh, the card data and uh, then when we go to any other page this card data should be available uh, on all pages now how do we store this information because if you realize that uh, when you go on to Amazon or any other shopping site even if you come back after five days after closing the browser the cart item is still there in the cart so we can't store this information into the database because imagine if you have high number of users we are storing the product information and the card information all of that in, into the database which is not very efficient so how do we store that information so that it stays there without having to uh, worry about you know storing that information into the database uh, what we can do is we can use local storage so if you do an inspect element and if you check here you can see that we have stored information into local storage okay and we are storing the product information like product ID uh, image information price quantity all of that into this local storage so local storage uh, takes a key value pair uh, you can name the key anything that you want and you can store the information in form of JSON string okay so JSON data. So you can store this information and you can pull that information whenever you want and this information stays there. Uh, now you must be wondering how much data it can store. It can store up to like 4 to 5 MB but of course this is not going to be 4 to 5 MB so that should be fine and it stays there into the user's browser even if he closes it, comes back after years it's just going to stay there. It doesn't get deleted. So local storage data don't expire. If we use session storage, then yes, it'll expire. Uh, the session will stay only for that particular uh, tab. When the tab is closed, it gets lost. But local storage stays there. Even if you go to a different browser, it will still be there. So let me open that for you into the next tab. And you can see, sure enough, you still have this, right? Awesome. So, of course, we are storing the data into the local storage, but I want to pass that data from one page to another without having to pull that information from the local storage each time. The way we can achieve this is using context API. So in React we have context, context API. Okay so in context API there are two things. One is the app provider and second is the app consumer. Okay so the provider goes ahead and takes all of the data and then it provides that data to the consumer okay so in this video we're going to learn about how to create the uh, app context the context using the context api which can store the card data and in the, in the following videos we can then learn to create these button and uh, also store that information into the local storage so that we can show that information okay let's begin then so the first thing we're going to do is create a directory inside of the component and we'll name it as context and we can create a component called app context where we'll keep our provider app context okay and then we can just import react and we can also import use state and use effect from react okay state is basically going to be allowing us to uh, set the state okay 
and uh, these are hooks that are provided by react uh, I have a different series which is completely dedicated to react hooks so you can check that for more information as to what are hooks what is use state and use effect but uh, think about it is that uh, if I had to tell you to compare it with the class component so use state and use effect are hooks which are used for functional component itself because we know that in functional component we cannot use state state is used in a class component so every time you had to manage uh, the state you, you need to store some data you had to actually uh, create a class component and then initialize the state and then pass that data to the child components so hooks actually allow you to give an option wherein you don't have to worry about creating classes you don't have to manage component did mount component did update uh, use state and use effect are going to take care of that for you okay so you can just create a functional component so if you check how to create the context you can see it says react dot create context so you need to use the method that react has called create context and it takes a default value so we're just going to do that so we'll say export const and we'll create a component called app context and we'll do react dot create context that's what it says over here instead of my context I'm just using app context and I'm exporting it so that it's available to the outside world which means the other component okay and it takes a default value so as a default what we're gonna need will be a cart object where we can store cart information so I'm just going to put an empty object right now we're just declaring it we are not really uh, going to be using it but uh, this is to let you know that the first parameter is going to be for the cart object and the second parameter will be a function that is going to set the value of cart so whenever the user clicks on the add to cart button we want to go ahead and store the information in the local storage as well as put put that information into the cart of the context so that it's available to other components as well the next thing we need to do is we need to create a provider okay so provider basically takes whatever you give it inside of the context and pass that value to the provider and wherever whichever component you have which is wrapped uh, with the provider that component will have the data available okay so it can use it so basically what we want to do is we'll create app provider provider is equal to so it's a component basically so it's, it's going to have access to props define a st state for us so we'll say const and to use the use state the first one is the initialize state and then the method set card is going to set the value of the card and we'll just put that equal to use state and initial value will be null okay so when you use this function to set the value of the card the value of the card over here will change okay initially it's null alright now we're just going to use the use effect method and this method gets called during the initial render and every time the value of the state changes now the next thing is that use effect is going to take a function and since we're going to use the app provider for other components and we're going to wrap the app uh, other components uh, inside of the app provider those will be rendered on server side as well okay so local storage is not available server side it's only available on the client side so if we want to get the access to local storage which is where we are going to store the card data then we need to ensure that we are inside of the browser and not uh, on the server side so the way we can check it is by doing process dot browser so process.browser is going to be true if this component is being rendered on the client side and not server side because okay, so that's why it's important to check that before we can access the local storage so we can say let card data local storage dot get item and let's name the key of the local storage to woo next cart you can name the key whatever you want okay so currently we haven't set any of the data into the cart but we are assuming that if once it's set then we're going to store that information into the cart data uh, object okay so 
now we're just going to say card data is equal to if card data we're going to check if it has the data inside of it or not so if card data is not equal to null then parse this data because remember it is going to give a string so it will be json string so we need to parse it so in order for us to parse it all we have to do is use a javascript function called json dot parse okay great and then the next thing we're going to do is we have this function that is available uh, with the help of use state we can just call this function and just pass cart so think of this as set state okay so what this is going to do is going to call this function and uh, whatever the value of the card data is is going to set that to the cart okay and then the next thing we're going to do is just pass an empty array so that it doesn't go into like an infinite loop again I'm not going to get into detail of hooks you can watch my tutorial on hooks so this will all be clear to you as to what are these the next thing we're going to do is uh, basically just return app context dot provider okay so if you check this is how you pass the value okay so app context so my context dot provider and the value alright so the value is going to be an an array which contains cart which is this basically and the set cart method as well so we're going to pass two of this information to the provider okay and inside of this we can have props dot children which means that when we wrap any of a component inside of the app context dot provider uh, is going to pass the cart value and this method which is going to set the cart for you and whatever is there inside of that component will be rendered like this so let me make it look better by wrapping it inside of the round brackets okay great so we have created our context okay okay we need to put an else condition over here so in else condition this will be empty okay great so if you remember we are using layout so if whether you are using index.js which is the uh, main page the home page we are using layout or if it's a product page we are also using the layout so layout will be used on most of the pages because it already gives us the header the head uh, etc so we don't need to rewrite them so rather than going ahead and wrapping each of these pages component with app context dot provider we can just wrap layout because wherever we use layout automatically it will be wrapped inside of the app uh, app context dot provider okay so let's do that so let's go to layout okay and what I'm going to do is just take the whole thing and just wrap it inside of app provider like this and you can see it's already pulled app provider from the app context that we've just created on top and then we just need to put all of the content inside of this that's all okay so what this means is that let me recap that for you okay since we have wrapped our layout component with the app provider now I want to show you how you can pull the data out of this so since we are passing the data uh, into the provider in the value attribute uh, then how to pull that information so we have something available called use context in react hooks okay so react hooks make things easier for us if we were using if we were not using react hooks then we had to write more code basically to, to do the same thing but use context uh, which is provided by react hooks is going to make our life a lot easier okay so let's go to header okay and over here we can just import the app context that we've just created app context from app context and then import use context text from react and then inside of this 
we can say const and remember that we are passing the cart and set cart so cart is an object that contains the cart information and the set cart is the method so we can just pull these two out so we can say cart and set cart and then equal to use context so I can just use this method and just pass the app context inside of this okay and uh, so remember what we what we had done is we were passing card data over here but currently we don't have anything inside of the local storage so this won't give us anything so we'll just hard code it for now so we're just passing this object product one two three just like a dummy data to see if we are actually getting that data into other components or not so now if I just console log cart let's see if we get that let's refresh sure enough you can see we have got the card data available correct